Well guys, the winner of this kayak wanted a few things. He wanted a raised seat and pontoons for stability. He mentioned that he was disabled and he had a hard time standing from a low seated position. So we might as well start right here with the seat. This is the seat that comes with the Catch 120 from the factory. And you can see it's already a raised seat and uh, it'll fold down. It's uh, pretty comfortable. And it'll also fit in this lower position here, which makes things a little bit easier to paddle. And it's held in place with a strap. Okay. Um, to modify this seat, one of the things that I want to do is I want to add an armrest because some kayak chairs do come with armrests and and well armrests are on chairs because you know it makes sense to have an armrest sometimes especially if you need to push to get up and out of a chair i've used the side of the kayak here to uh, get out of this seat but i've also noticed that these straps are kind of in the place where um, armrest would be normally so I think I might take advantage of these little holes here where the strap is to try and add an armrest. Well, one of the things I can do to make an armrest is to use like an old piece of PVC or something and just bolt it right in to the holes where the strap is. Notice that the strap is actually in a good spot for an armrest um, on a kayak seat at least because it has to be low in the front so that you can use your paddle and it won't uh, be hitting the armrest. So the problem with that is if I bolt it on here and make this rigid, this seat won't be able to collapse anymore. And I don't want to take away options, I want to add them. So we're going to have to figure this out. What I could do is use a smaller piece of PVC in here so that when they come together, as this gets adjusted, uh, one will slide inside the other. Yeah, that might work. In order to do that though, I've got to find a piece of PVC that will nest into this one. So uh, let's go look at my PVC stash. <clears throat> Alrighty. Well, here's my desk, uh, bench, whatever you call it. And I'm actually <laughs> a little embarrassed at the condition of this. But somewhere here, we should be able to find something that works. Now, let's see. Here I've got an um, inch and a half PVC. That's obviously too big. That's three quarter, I think. And this is, this is three quarter polyethylene pipe. I got uh, half inch polyethylene. That's a little too small though. And uh, over here I've got, what is this? This is two inch pipe and that's, this gray stuff here is two and a half. But uh, I got plans for that somewhere else. Now over here, this is, uh, I mean, this is the pipe that I was holding in, in the video before. And if you look there, this polyethylene pipe, this three quarter fits inside that one inch really nice problem is it bends and if I drill a hole through this to attach to the seat then I'm afraid that it could break and be weak and I don't want an armrest to be weak however right here these pipes are leftovers from working on the big boat this is stainless steel and Eureka it fits inside the one inch PVC really nice this might work let's go look okay now this might actually work because as the seat goes back and forward it's not just going like this it's pivoting so it's gonna get higher and lower as it goes forward that's why I've got to have a singular pivoting spot on the top so that it the middle will go up and down as it goes forward and back. And then we'll have a pivot point down here on the PVC 
and the top, I think this is going to work. I'm going to have to straighten this out though, it's a little bent. But you can see it'll travel in like this. Oh yeah, this way I can have a rigid armrest and still have some play for the seat to go forward and back. I think this is going to work out nice. Now, to lock this into position, if I remove this strap, to lock this in position, I guess I could drill holes straight through a whole bunch of them and then have like a cotter pin or something. What I'm afraid of though is that the ring of the cotter pin, and you're going to have the ring on one side and a little protrusion on the other side and that could hit you in the ribs or on your arm. Or, and I wanted to put some cushion on this so I can't cover it it's just going to be a pain in the butt. So what I might do, instead of removing the strap, I might leave that on there as a way to lock down the position of the seat and then just add this directly over it. Let me do some cutting and drilling, get myself some longer bolts and nuts for this, and we'll see if it works. Now, I'm going to take a uh, drill bit, put a hole right there, and we'll attach that to the top. These are actually the bolts that came with the trolley that I mutilated in the best boat video. Anyways, stainless steel hardware, perfectly good. I'll insert that there, screw it down. Oops, forgot to put the, uh, <laughs> the strap on. I put the strap in there first. And then that. And that's making it pretty tight. And yeah, the 
backrest is being held by the strap, you can pull the strap and it will come forward or you can undo the strap a little bit and it will extend backwards so the backrest is still adjustable but now you've got a nice handle here. Let's uh, add a little cushion to that and that's just about done. So I looked around my stash of cool stuff I know I've got some pipe insulation here. I think this is gonna make for a nice cushy handle. I'm not gonna have it come all the way up to the top. I want a little bit of this white showing up here. So we'll cut it right around there. I've got my fillet knife. Beautiful. This insulation, I think it's the three quarter pipe, but it comes slipped down the side there. So I can just wrap that around. Very nice. And to keep that on there, maybe I can use some grip tape. I got this in the uh, sporting section at Walmart. Um, it's supposed to be for uh, tennis rackets and stuff like that, I think. I'm not quite certain. Let's see how it works. There you guys go. The armrests are done. And uh, there's still a bunch of other things that I want to do to this seat because uh, the winner, Patrick, in his comment that won him this kayak, mentioned that he wanted a higher seat and that he had trouble getting up from a low seated position. The armrests are definitely going to help with that, but I'm also going to raise the seat up and maybe extend the back and I have plans to make a pneumatic actuated seat that goes up and helps you out from a low seated position. I'm not kidding. So uh, there's going to be a bunch of other things, including the pontoons that I'm going to build for this. <sighs> this is going to be a fun build, I think. And it's going to be hard for me to give this kayak away because I think I'm going to like it that much. And uh, hopefully you guys like uh, watching this as much as I like building it. Thanks a bunch. Really, for your support. Um, I appreciate it. Stay tuned.